I want to find out how many of the prices in column D are less than 10,000. And I'm going to be doing that with the count if function. Let me show you how. The count if function counts the specific cells that meet a certain criteria. And to use it, you only need two things, and that is the range. In the example I'll be showing you in a few seconds, that is simply the list of all the prices. And then you need a criterion. And the criterion is what you are looking for specifically. So in this case, I'm only counting the cells that holds a value less than 10,000. So that is my criterion. In Excel, it looks like this right count if open parenthesis and here you have the syntax i just showed you a few seconds ago so the range and the criteria the range is the list of prices or whatever we are looking for here so we are looking in the list of prices for specific prices so the range is all the prices. Then write a comma to separate the arguments and the criteria is what specifically we are actually looking for. And that is prices less than 10,000. And there's a bunch of ways you can write that. For starters, you can write quotation mark less than 10,000 like this. Close parenthesis. This is one way to write it. Let's hit enter and see that we have almost 300 cells that has less than 10,000 in them in column D. So great, congratulations. This is your first count if function. We have now counted with a criterion. Now the problem with this is that this is not very dynamic. Let's say in the future it might be less than 8,000. Then you'll have to go inside the formula and change it to 8 thousand here to count it again. Now to make it more dynamic, we need to change the way we actually write the criterion. So let's delete this and write quotation mark and then the less than symbol quotation mark again, and then the ampersand symbol to put it together with a reference to this cell right here G2. Now that's it. Hit enter. And now we have it all dynamically set up so we can write 8000 here and then the formula changes automatically. Pretty great, huh? Let's look at the other ways to write criteria. So here we want to count the cells that are equal to Michael Harris. So we want to count the orders that are being sold by the sales rep, Michael Harris. So we are writing count if open parenthesis, and we are looking in the range that holds the sales reps names here. That's it, column B, comma to separate the arguments. And then the criterion is equal to Michael Harris. We don't need to write equal to or anything like that. We can just write either write in a quotation mark, Michael Harris like this, or you could reference the cell directly and then you don't have to write the quotation marks like this and close parenthesis and hit enter. Now we can see that there are 148 orders that have been sold by Michael Harris. Let's move on to greater than, but actually I'm going to change that into greater than or equal to because that's one of the methods we haven't gone through yet. So count if, open parenthesis, and the range this time is the order number column over here, column A, and we are looking for, we are counting specific orders that have a, um, a order number that is greater than or equal to 4,500. So instead, we are using the method from up here, quotation mark and then greater than or equal to that's the way you write that like this. So quotation marks uh, greater than or equal to that's how you write that um, quotation marks and then the ampersand and the reference to G4 that holds the actual value close parenthesis and hit enter. Now, this is also dynamic. So if we want to count something else instead, let's say 4,600, then we'll have a smaller number here. 
and that's how you count specific cells with the count if function. But one of the things I did not show here was to find something between two values. So something in an interval. So let's say we want to find, uh, we want to count orders with a price that is less than 8,000, but more than 4,000. You can't do that with one single count if function. You will need to use multiple of them, or you could use the count ifs function that you can learn all about in this video up here. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video.